Hi everyone, I'm Chao Nguyen for Gotta Be Mobile and in this Galaxy Note 3 video review series, we're going to go ahead and explore some of the new functionality that Samsung has packed into the S Note application. On the left here, I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 on T-Mobile's US network and you can see the new S Note icon here. But before we explore the new S Note application on the Note 3, let's go ahead and take a look at the S Note app that it replaces on the Galaxy Note 2, which is last year's model. This one here actually runs on AT&T's US network. Let's go ahead and launch the S Note. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the old S Pen on the uh, Galaxy Note 2. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, launch the application. As you can see here, you can see the folders on various different pages. So it's actually similar to a scomorphic um, design element that Apple had used prior to iOS 7 in that the digital version actually resembles the physical items that are in real life. So here you can see folders and various different pages. So it gives it a more of a real life notebook feeling despite uh, the S Note being a digital note. Go ahead and create a new note. So you can see here on the top you have the menu bar which gives you various different options for um, adding images, adding video recording, and various uh, text elements here. At the top you have an option to record your different pen strokes. So if you're drawing a uh, complicated caricature and you want to record how you did it, you can go ahead and record your keystroke by hitting the red record button here. Let's go ahead and start sketching. Um, if you tap on the pen icon here, it's gonna give you different pen tips. You can go ahead and, and adjust um, how big uh, the pen stroke is. So if you do a light one, a dark one, and it's pressure sensitive. So the lighter you press, um, the lighter the pen stroke will be. And then you can also adjust the different colors. I'm gonna go ahead and erase everything that we've done so far because we can go ahead and explore other options that are featured. So you can go ahead and draw or write freeform on the Note 2 with the S Pen, which is powered by Wacom's active digitizing technology. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next button here. If you press and hold it, it's a product, it brings up the productivity tools icon. What we have selected or highlighted is a formula match. So if you draw, if you're in a math or an algebra or calculus class, and if you write a formula, it should automatically convert what you uh, wrote by hand into a more elegant, uh, it's gonna translate that into a text form. So it's gonna digitize your handwriting on the bottom into a text. Go ahead and exit out of that. Um, there are other productivity options. There's a shape match tool, which does a similar function um, if you're drawing shapes. So if you're not a good uh, person, if you're not a good circle drawer, you can go ahead and sketch your circle and it's gonna automatically match it to a more um, circular shape here. Same with triangles, squares, and lines. The next one is a handwriting tool. So it's gonna match your handwriting and then it's gonna convert that to transcribed text. So I'm gonna write test. And as you can see here, my handwritten has been converted to typed text. So these are just some of the tools that you can use with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And you have to notice that um, before it does any of that, you have to choose what you wanna do in the productivity option first. So you would have to choose if you wanna match a shape, if you wanna match your formula or match your text to uh, digital uh, transcribed text. You have to choose that before you start writing or drawing. So essentially, this is the Note 2's um, S Note application. Let's go ahead and launch the um, S Note application on the Galaxy Note 3. This year, once you launch it, you're not gonna get any sample notes and it's more of a clean and uncluttered user interface. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new note. And although you do get a notebook feel there, you'll notice that the UI here is a lot cleaner. You're getting a blank sheet of paper versus what looks like uh, a lined yellow legal pad on the Note 2. So here it's gonna give you um, a blank slate and it's gonna focus on the content you're creating rather than trying to recreate the, the digital or the paper element of what you're doing into a digital format. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start writing test. 
And then I'm going to write a circle with A, an arrow, to a triangle that says B. And you'll notice here that I've started writing before I've done any of the selection, so I don't have to choose my productivity um, in advance. And here I can go ahead and highlight. I'm going to go ahead and choose the lasso tool. I'm going to lasso the top part here, and then I'm going to, and it gives, it's going to give me the ability to resize what I wrote, and I can also transform this. I can transform this into a shape, a formula, a text, or a shape and text. I'm going to just choose text for right now, and as you can see, it transformed it into test. Let's go ahead and lasso the bottom part. So let's try that again. I'm going to lasso the bottom part here, and I'm going to go ahead and transform that into a shape and text. So it didn't quite do it all the way, but you can see the idea. So if you're a better artist or uh, sketcher than I am, um, the A should be in the circle and the B should be in this triangle here. Did get the arrow right. You go ahead and go ahead and just erase everything. Let's try that again. So again, it didn't do it all the way right, but as you can see here, the user interface is a lot cleaner. You still do have options to insert a picture you've taken or clipped. You can also in import something that you've clipped into a clipboard as well, or your scrapbook. So here I've went ahead and um, added this picture that I've uh, clipped into my scrapbook application. And then you can also add audio or, or you can also record and add audio notes as well. So these are just some of the changes that are on the Galaxy Note 2. And as you can see here, it's just a lot, the interface is just a lot cleaner on the Galaxy Note 3. I'm Chang Wen for Gotta Be Mobile. Thanks for watching this video review of the Samsung S Note application on the Galaxy Note 3. Please join us on gottabemobile.com for additional coverage and the full review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Thanks for watching.